Hi, uh, this time we're going to talk about rotations. And on the graph there, you can see that we've got a, a shape uh, on axes and there's a dot at naught naught at the, at the center point. We're going to rotate this shape through 180 degrees using that point as the center of rotation. Now, what's the best way to do this in practice? Well, I think the best way is to make a tracing of the shape and of the center point and as we'll see, um, I'm also going to make a tracing of the axes as well. And we slide that off. Now we can rotate that tracing through 180 degrees. Like that. And now when we slide the position back in there, we've got our image in the right place. And all we have to do is to sort of mark those points on our graph and join up the dots. And you've got a, a shape which has been rotated through 180 degrees around the center point, naught naught. Now, what would happen if instead of uh, a 180 degree rotation, we were asked to rotate at 90 degrees anti-clockwise? Well, anti-clockwise is that way. So if we get our tracing again and we rotate it anti-clockwise through 90 degrees, once again, the axes help us to line things up, but if we put the center point over the center point, then these are the points of the image. It's now been rotated through 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And if we were to do 90 degrees clockwise, very similar, that's where it's going to be. And so when we line up the two centers and the axes, then this is the image, and these are the points that we would have to mark and join up on our graph. Notice that there's a difference between 90 degrees clockwise and 90 degrees anti-clockwise. 180 degrees, it doesn't matter if you're clockwise or anti-clockwise because it's the same thing, but with any other number of degrees there's a big difference. This time we're going to do another 180 degree rotation but about a different center, this point here which is the point minus 1, 2. Well, how do we do that? Well, we do it in a very similar way uh, to the other ones. First of all, we make a tracing and slide the tracing off. Rotate the tracing through 180 degrees. And now the important thing is to make sure that the centers coincide, the center of both coincide. And that gives us the new position, which if we mark those points and join them up, we'll have rotated this shape through 180 degrees with that point there as the centre. 